Welcome back to Proxido channel. We are back with Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo. Uh, last time we were stuck in this memory of Ed, we surely in uh, um, and trying to find out what's happened to him and his childhood, his sister, her mother. We know that the, the father um, kind of killed them by a purpose car accident, but also Ed is sort of taking a side of the father and push out certain things out of this memory. So we'll see how this goes. So, um, I don't. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay, many things. Okay, so something... Okay, so Walkman. You weren't obsessed with an entire verse, were you? Only with one sentence. Leave her, Johnny. Leave her. Maybe. I think that it's more than maybe. I know you found the missing figurine, after all. Mom will give it to me later. She'll be a bit angry. Because she would be in a, a crib with little... Jenny. Um, okay. Hopefully that's that. So let's go if we can have we have 100 men and we missed something secondary here. So let's analyze. And let's see. Okay, analyze me. Why don't you trust your sister, Jenny? Because she takes up all of Mom's attention, and then she can't be with me or with Dad, and then Dad gets mad. Oh boy, come on, Ed. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, well done, we are 100%. Oh. Okay, then we have the next one. And so we need to uh, analyze. Okay, we have to relive that too. Okay. <laughs> I like I can put the like cameo on his helmet. Oh, so Sheriff was there. Sheriff Rice. Hi. You too. Oh, little baby Jenny. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. A fair affair. That's why he was so, um, that's why he takes it personal. And that's why he was so heartbroken when he found the car you know, with his mom and maybe his child, I don't know. But the dad was horrible. You can hate, oh. He was a child, so he interpreted things certain way, I guess. So, okay, let's revisit this um, and analyze. Because in his original memory, he kind of pushed Sheriff Rice out of. What did you think when the police officer arrived, Eddie? That he was going to arrest someone for misbehaving. Your dad, your mom, you, Jenny. Yeah, or I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, your dad was beating your mom, so, you know, that's that. Okay, I don't... That's strange, there's nothing more here. Am I missing something? All right, let's walk around. Okay, myself. Why are you taking those pictures? Because things just used to be better. Oh, bet. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, no. They're kissing. All right. It would be a lot of to interpret there for sure. Okay. Fire figurine. How did Jenny get a hold of that figurine? Sometimes 
Dad sleeps in Mom and Dad's room in the morning or in the afternoon. And Mom comes and changes Jenny's diaper on my bed. So I go outside to play. Okay. What did you think right there, Eddie? That Jenny isn't bad. It's the police officer that's bad. Uh-huh. Well, here you go, people. This is how kids interpret situations. So, all right, Ed, you're a um, big man now. Let's end the hypnosis and let's see where we, where we will move on from now. We'll see. What? It can't be that it bad. It is. <laughs> so, you are going to tell me now, right? right? You've been repressing and twisting your own memories since... Your father was not the person you remember. At some point, um, when you were little, he became obsessed. Mm. He got lost. He started drinking. Yeah. Put a t-shirt on, Ad. manage this this is uh this is pretty heavy to realize that your entire life but why did i do it jenny plenty of older brothers feel jealous of their siblings it's normal it would have passed it was all my fault no it wasn't the picture if i hadn't the same thing would have happened sooner or later your dad would have found out and instead of an accident it would have been a slap, or a beating, or a push, or a knife. And what good does knowing do me? You've been carrying that guilt for years, building a prison of fake memories just to hide it from yourself, from everyone. And it's been gnawing at you, but you need to let it go. First t-shirt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ed. I, I don't want to give Ed a hard time. He's going through a really, really hard, tough, tough uh, times. So, I'm gonna leave my comments about his t-shirt be... Oh, no, 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 I'm not... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was not ready, guys. I was just watching. <laughs> kind of enjoying the ride. Oh! Okay, we're gonna walk. I'm ready now. 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 I'm 
already. Oh, no, 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 I'm full. No, I'm full, and oh, I... <laughs> Please make him walk and not be my fault. I am ready now. He tricked me. Why you would make a two right steps? Okay, we walking. We are walking. Okay, now who killed Adam's uncle? That is the question. I maybe don't like Ed, but I don't see him as, you know, cold-blooded murderer. Oh, we are back in the crappy motel. <sighs> okay. Not today. Then we're gonna ignore my lady. No, I said ignore, and when I said ignore... <laughs> All right, good. Oh, Ed. You're the most loyal person I've ever met. Doctor? It's Sheriff Reyes. Oh, now she knows. Eh? Doctor, sorry to bother you this late, but... Uh, it's no problem, I guess. Don't worry. It's not a problem. I sent you a few messages on the way, but... I was ignoring uh, my phone. Ah, of course. <laughs> I still haven't saved your number. Are you all right? Are you feeling all right, Sheriff? It's late, I know. We were looking for Esther Franklin until just now. Did you find anything? There's still hope. I'm... I'm sorry about this morning. And you know I don't want to put your career on the line, but... Okay, I'd like you to know uh, what I found about Miller. Let's help each other find out the truth about Miller. I have to find Esther Flank Franklin. Um, she doesn't care about Esther. Not that she would not care, but Ed is her um, patient. So maybe let's discuss that and she will talk. I'd really like you to know what I found out about Ed Miller. There's a really pretty lookout near here. We could discuss this. Oh, now I have to convince him that Ed is innocent. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's bad news. The gun, the bottle, his connection to the Franklins, the whole implausible story about the... <clears throat> oh, for... I guess... No, don't offer it help. Um... He is proud man. I'm not sure how he would take it if he would try to. Um, uh, you can climb on your own, sister. Let's go. He is barely managing himself, so you can manage. <sighs> She's a strong woman, kind. Like I was saying, there are too many signs, huh? I'm not saying he's guilty, it's just... It's hard to see it any other way. Don't you think, Doctor? There's one just like it in my favorite movie. I can't say I'm a movie buff myself. No. Okay. It's incredible to think that the tree was almost 600 years old here. That it died here. 
and that we've only been here about this much. Okay. Here, no, a year later, I was at a protest march. The police charged us. I fell. Uh, L.A., right? Did they crush you? Three knee operations. What were you doing at the time? I don't know. Patrol during the day to make a buck. Study at night to be a sheriff. Okay. Uh-huh. Well, I see that. Uh... What were you doing that day? Do you remember? <sighs> Sure. I woke up at 6.30, like I do every day, turn on the radio while I shaved, and uh, the second plane had just hit. I remember looking in the mirror, not recognizing myself, not my face, my hands, my bathroom, none of it. I took care of people with similar symptoms during those weeks. Okay. Good for you, Doctor. Okay, Apple 11. I was born about here. You? About the same. Okay, so they're about the same age. Uh, nothing on attack on Fair Harbor. Um, I am... Sh okay, doesn't want to... Okay, let's... Oh, here we go. 2016. <laughs> I became sheriff. Congratulations. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. 2016. All right. I didn't know what I was getting myself into either. <laughs> Did you become sheriff too? <laughs> I fell in love. Ah, <laughs> damn. Of course. Sorry. I have to insist. I know Miller is hiding something. He's lying. To lie, you have to be aware that you're lying. Nice one. But Miller knows exactly what he's doing. He only has trouble remembering certain things. Things that you do remember. I, I, I don't understand. Okay, you're hiding something you're not impartial when it comes to Ed. That's true. He definitely has it for him. Tell me about Maddie Miller. Okay, let's uh, talk, let's start a story. Tell me about Maddie Miller, please. I, 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 excuse me? About your relationship with her. In the early 90s, you did a little more than just work and study to be sheriff. Yes. Talk to us. We need to convince you that Ed is innocent. <laughs> Let him be. He'll talk. You have no right to know around my life. I never told anybody. Promise you won't analyze me. How did you find out through Miller? Okay, let's say, let's be honest. I never told anybody. I never told anybody. Why, maybe it's time. Is it so painful? Of course it was painful. She died. Not why. She was married. Maybe it's time, right? Maybe it's time you talked about it. We were inseparable as kids. I spent more time at her house, the one you've been to, than my own. In high school, <laughs> everyone thought we were dating. <laughs> then she went to school in San Francisco. We'd meet up some weekends until one summer. She came back arm in arm with John Miller. We didn't see each other for years. It would have been five or six when we ran into each other and uh, started meeting. A coffee, a walk, dinner, a motel. Later, 
pregnant with Jenny. She distanced herself from me. I thought the girl had helped her marriage. That she was happy. Mm. Fucking happiness. Get Mary back. Okay. I don't know how. You look beautiful. She is beautiful. How are you? Why did you call? Oh, okay. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful girl. Isn't she? Beautiful and a bottomless pit. You'd gobble your mummy right up, wouldn't you? Thanks for coming after all this time. How have you been? I miss you working and studying. I tried to forget you. You know, I miss you. I've really missed you. I'm sorry. I didn't want Jenny to grow up in a broken home. Or Eddie. I understand your kids come first. Because I had another family. You left me overnight. Um, we can start a new family. I was willing to give you anything you needed. Anything you needed. And I still am. Yes. You better get her back. We could start another family. I felt guilty. John deserved a chance. I thought the baby... I was wrong. Is he still drinking? He's burying me alive. What did he do? If he touched a single hair. Report him, and I'll make sure you get a restraining order. I'm going to leave him. I, I'm going to tell him next week. Get her back, I guess. Don't do it now. Be careful. Yes, be careful. It's your decision, but be careful. He could get physical. I have to tell him. I can't just... Just take his son away from him without at least... What about the daughter? Jenny is yours. <gasps> take her. Oh, gosh. Oh, little baby Jenny. And he didn't put two and two together. He's a father. Oh, okay. We have multiple things to look at. Okay. She's got something in her hand. Oh, get it, will you? Gently. Okay, we'll be very gentle. Okay. Or maybe not? I was gentle. All right, should I be really slow? Okay. Oh, Eddie, he leaves stuff everywhere. She woke up. Hey, puppy. See? She has your eyes. And he... doesn't suspect anything? Since the very beginning. How do you know she's not... John's? You've never tried to sleep with someone after you've downed a bottle of whiskey, have you? <laughs> well... What am I saying? You're ready for water after half a beer. Come with me. The three of you. Let's take it slowly. I can't risk custody. Oh, that's so sweet. That was the last time I saw them oh, alive. That's so heartbreaking. Oh. 
Was it you who found them? <sighs> I wanted to kill that son of a bitch, but he took that away from me too. Mm. Oh, he was drinking too. Oh. Oh. Oh man, we are really drunk. <laughs> okay, the what is it, gun? Oh, uh, okay. Let's take the bottle rather than the gun. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. All right, Sherry, if it's okay, let go to bed. All right. So I guess the shotgun. I just don't know what we're gonna do with that. No. Nick, no. Oh, that's why he has the scar. What went through your mind in that moment? Why did you move it away? Hmm. Oh boy. Hmm, that's something I could only tell my psychiatrist. Thanks. Now, do you understand? John Miller was dangerous. His son is too. The same look in his eye. Hmm. I'm worried about you. I'm more worried about what you might do. I can't take care of myself. I'm not in it. He look in his eyes. Isn't that proof of anything? Okay. Um. Ah. Honestly, after what you've just told me, I'm more worried about what you might do to Ed. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. I know what I'm saying. I just meant... Hold on. You believe him? About what? Faye. Yes. No. You're certain Faye isn't a figment of a writer's, uh, a psychopath's imagination? I'm not interfering in your job, Sheriff. Don't interfere in mine. Throughout my career, I've met a great deal of psychopaths. And believe me, when I know someone, I really know them. If there is a psychopath in this story, it's not Ed Miller. All right, well, that was quite ending of the episode. I know this could be a little bit slow moving, but it was incredible. The story of the Sheriff Rias and now the bonding time uh, uh, with her as well. That's amazing. So we will finish the episode over here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the like button. That will help me greatly. If you're coming back to my channel for Vertigo or any other series, consider subscribing and I will see you next time to see how this story goes. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.